the review is on the production and processing of graphene and related materials. So I think that really that's extremely interesting for beginners in the scientific world, but also for companies because details that are not stated somewhere else are stated here and described. We decided to do this review to have at one place and one place only the set of the art of synthesis about graphene and 2D materials that otherwise would have been spread over 10 years maybe in thousands of different papers. For any application of graphene or related materials you need first to be able to make it and this is a key aspect for all the companies that are tackling the use of graphene and related materials, all the layered materials. For this reason a book or a paper that gives you precise details on how to make these in materials, how to characterize them, how to transfer them from the growth substrate to the final substrate is going to be very useful. There are more than 70 co-authors, 1,500 references and more than 500 pages. It's a big book that encompasses the description of very many of the most important uh, methods to produce graphene and other two-dimensional materials and we also describe technological problems like the processing of inks and the transfer of the growth materials and also the characterization. The important thing is not only to have a, a state-of-the-art book with everything about 2D materials but also to have a compound uh, integration comprehensive uh, review about how to make the material, what are the characteristics of how you end up with and for what purpose. There is a straight line between the end product, the characteristics and the fabrication and this is what this book is about. Graphene is the first two-dimensional materials that we studied but there are many more materials that can be exfoliated to a single monolayer. We believe at the moment that there are between 2,000 and 5,000 materials that can be exfoliated and so it's important for the flagship to uh, use the knowledge that we developed in graphene to help the development of all these other thousands of possible materials. What you get at the end as a uh, material is determined by how you made this material. So it is very important for the community if they want to make this material again or if they want to study the material to know exactly not only how it was made but how the characteristics are directly related to the process of making the sample. Within the graphene flagship in our package materials and our package production we have been working on the problems of how to create, synthesize, grow, transfer and place graphene and related materials for almost five years now. And now we decided to make all this knowledge public with this publication.